The Golden State Warriors tipped off their 2024-25 season with a highly anticipated home opener against their in-state rivals, the Los Angeles Clippers. The atmosphere inside the Chase Center was electric, as Dub Nation came out in full force, eager to see their team begin their championship defense. However, the Clippers had other plans, spoiling the Warriors' home opener with a statement victory. The Clippers, led by a dominant Kawhi Leonard, controlled the game from start to finish, exposing the Warriors' defensive vulnerabilities and lack of offensive firepower in the absence of Stephen Curry. The final score, a resounding 121-105 victory for the Clippers, left a sour taste in the mouths of Warriors fans and raised questions about the team's ability to compete for a championship without their star point guard. In the face of the Clippers' onslaught, one Warrior stood out, Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins, often criticized for his inconsistency, put on a show for the home crowd, showcasing his offensive arsenal and defensive prowess. He attacked the basket with ferocity, finishing through contact and showcasing his improved, shot-creating ability. Wiggins ended the night with a game-high 30 points, shooting an efficient 50% from the field and adding 7 rebounds. He was a force on both ends of the court, but his valiant effort wasn't enough to overcome the Clippers' balanced attack and superior execution. This game served as a reminder of Wiggins' potential and the crucial role he will play for the Warriors this season, especially in the absence of Stephen Curry. The Warriors entered the season opener without their heart and soul, Stephen Curry, who was sidelined with a minor ankle injury. Curry's absence was immediately felt, as the Warriors' offense lacked its usual flow and explosiveness. The Clippers' defense, knowing they didn't have to account for Curry's gravity, were able to focus on limiting the Warriors' other offensive weapons. Without Curry on the court to orchestrate the offense, the Warriors looked disjointed and struggled to find good shots. The lack of spacing was evident as the Clippers' defense clogged the paint and forced the Warriors into contested jumpers. The Warriors desperately need Curry back in the lineup to regain their offensive identity and provide the scoring punch they need to compete at a championship level. Section 4, Pool Party Fizzles Out, Supporting Cast Struggles With Curry out, the Warriors needed Jordan Poole to step up and fill the void offensively. Unfortunately for the Dubs, Poole had a night to forget, struggling to find his rhythm and make an impact on the game. He finished with a dismal 12 points on 4 of 17 shooting, including 1 of 8 from 3-point range. Poole's struggles were indicative of a larger issue for the Warriors, the supporting cast's inability to consistently contribute offensively. Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, and Jonathan Kuminga all had their moments but none of them could find their shooting stroke consistently enough to keep pace with the Clippers' scoring. Section 5, Kawhi's Clippers, Cruise to Victory The Clippers, on the other hand, looked like a well-oiled machine, executing their game plan to perfection. Kawhi Leonard led the charge with his usual quiet dominance, scoring 27 points on an efficient 10 of 17 shooting. The Clippers' supporting cast also stepped up in a big way, with Paul George adding 23 points and Norman Powell chipping in 18 points off the bench. The Clippers' size and athleticism caused problems for the Warriors all night, as they dominated the boards and controlled the paint. Section 6. Looking Ahead. Pelicans present new challenge. The Warriors will look to bounce back from their disappointing home opener on Tuesday night when they travel to New Orleans to take on Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. The Pelicans, a young and hungry team, will present a different challenge than the veteran-laden Clippers. The Warriors will need to find a way to generate offense without Curry, and they will need to do a better job of containing Williamson, who is a force to be reckoned with in the paint. It will be a tough test for the defending champs but it's still early in the season and there's plenty of time for the Warriors to figure things out.